Hi, I'm Holly, professional triathlete and sports podiatrist. And I'm Ben, also a triathlete and a podiatrist from Central Podiatry. We're presenting today from Pure Performance Sports, the running store in Warners Bay, where you can be expertly fitted for shoes, accessories and apparel. Our topic today is performance shoes, a tool to help us run. Firstly, let's focus on the most important point of this topic, our feet. Our feet are an incredibly well-designed, hard-working point of our body and they come with an inbuilt stability, shock absorption and a fancy neuromuscular control system which can adapt to stresses that we place it under. We can gain many performance benefits from strengthening our feet and improving proprioception and our running technique. So when it comes to selecting running shoes, it is crucial that we choose the right shoes to allow our feet to do their job. So do shoes really have an impact on the um, way we run? Yes, they do. Our running dynamics, which is the way our body moves, are influenced specifically by the midsole stiffness and the geometry of a shoe. You'd already be familiar with this because you've experienced running yeah, shoes that yeah. feel just right and then running in shoes that feel yeah. terrible. Yeah. So running in shoes in comparison to running barefoot can affect our cadence, our stride length, our kinematics, the way we contact the ground and also our running efficiency. Barefooted runners tend to have reduced step length, increased cadence and also tend to fall foot strike. But shoes are a necessary tool for running in almost all situations. So this would highlight just how important it is to be running in a shoe with the least negative impact on our running. Yes, studies show that incorrect footwear choices can exacerbate or cause lower extremity dysfunction while ideal footwear can help in prevention or even speed healing due to the decreased tissue stress on impaired structures. But we'll go through more detail in future videos. So what features would a healthy runner need in a shoe? Ultimately, we need to teach the foot what to do and to make sure that shoes do not get in the way, but they work in sync with one another. I'll cover four points that a performance shoe needs. Number one is minimal heel to toe drop. We don't want to run in a shoe with a significantly high heel to toe drop. It takes time to adapt to a lower drop shoe, around 10 weeks to increase flexibility, or this can be sped up with things like a soft tissue release. If you're going from a 12 mil to an eight mil drop, that's not much of a difference. But going from a 12 mil height to a zero drop shoe is a huge difference and this would place great strain on the soft tissues, particularly the Achilles tendon, hence risk injury. A second key point is the shoe should match the shape of your foot to ensure good proprioception and good stability for the foot. Two good hints are, first of all, the insole test. We want to be able to allow the foot to splay naturally with inside the shoe. So we don't want the shoe to be splaying over the side of the insole when the insole's on the ground and our foot's weight bearing over it. Another key idea that you can use is to purchase shoes in the afternoon to allow room for your foot to swell after it swells during the day. Number three is to try and get a really lightweight performance shoe as this will improve our performance by conserving um, economy. Another principle is the midsole stiffness as this has a big impact on our proprioception. Too much cushioning will prevent our biofeedback and compromise stability of the foot and muscle firing patterns. One key to remember is better proprioception via training equals better muscle firing which will be better balance leading to performance improvement. What is proprioception and how can we improve this? Proprioception is the body's ability to sense its position within space. We can improve this by specific proprioceptive training drills. Some of these will be highlighted in future videos. Tune in next time to find out how to determine other factors in picking the correct performance shoe and to find out if running barefoot is faster. Thanks.